Hi guys, time for another video. Uh, as you can tell, I've had a bit of a big package. It's, uh, reach for the scissors there. Uh, yeah, been keeping my eye on and off uh, for this for quite a while. I mean, I've had one before, so it's uh, it's nothing new. But I'll say why in a minute. It was so interesting for me. So let's crack it open. Uh, hang on. There we go. There we go. Oh, all the way, all the way. Pretty well packed. Uh, there we go. <laughs> My God, it is well packed. <laughs> I think I'll probably knock the camera over. Nope. Right, as you can see there, it's a Commodore 64. Uh, I say I've, I've had a couple of these in the past, but I, I always get a bit bored with them because the problem with the 8 bit things, you know, you'll only take games and stuff, and the interest just wanes after a while. But, a uh, bit of a boost for this one, I went and bought this. Which is an Epix fast load reloaded cartridge. Uh, hang on a sec. Just looking at. Uh, uh, there's a guy called Dan Wood on YouTube, which is kookitech.net, I think is in the description. I'm just having a quick look on the old PC. Uh, great channel. He, he does mix game stuff, but he tends to do a lot of Commodore things. And I was watching a, a video the other night that he did on um, Donald Pleasance and the whole. Commodore uh, history from the market inside. Great interview that he did. Uh, well, you know, well worth tracking down. Um, but again, it just got me more interested in Commodore and getting back into it. And then I found this little beauty uh, online. You basically, let me just reach for one SD card in it at the front, like that, clips in very, very nicely. You basically just pack it full of games. Plug that in through the tape port on the back of the uh, system, and you've got a full. You can pretty much play uh, any game you want. Disc, disc games, tape games, a lot. Uh, of course, it doesn't. You'd think, oh, it'll load it dead fast because it's no. It's still coming through the tape port, so it's still restricted by the uh, the speed and the machine and stuff. But that uh, other cartridge increases the the memory, so it gives you much faster loading. So just crack this open quickly. Come with a fair few bits. I'll never use it. <laughs> I'll probably stick that back on eBay, I think. But I swear I'm definitely going to keep this time round. I've got loads of games I want to play on it. And let's just crack what's over in one of the inside boxes. Hey, this is the good old uh, power brick. It weighs a ton, it's absolutely massive. And it comes with a, a tape, toolbox, typing tutor. I don't think it's got any of the games that are listed on the box. Which is a shame, but again, it's not like I'm ever going to play them. And uh, here it is inside. There we go. The Commodore 64C. Now, I went for this one over the bread bin just because... I just like the look of it better. I know that's probably people are jumping off and unsubscribing now because I don't. I don't. So I don't like the bread bin. It's just this one. It's just aesthetically more pleasing. I don't believe there's uh, much difference in them, like hardware wise. We've had a, a later motherboard and stuff. It's not. It's not like one loads faster than the other one. But like you know, this is like a early version of the Amiga looks very nice very nice design ports down the side uh, I did buy uh, just a cheap uh, Archon joystick probably put that on a video at some point oh my god it's all covered in hair underneath that's disgusting I don't know why people don't bloody clean these things before they sell them anyway I'll, uh, I'll go over this with a bit of isopropyl later and I'll probably put some footage up in the next few days so look forward to that I mean, one of the biggest things I've been doing is just going on the web and getting all sorts of uh, different like homebrew games and hack games and stuff like that it is quite a nice box I do like that 
I don't know what the uh, Batman games like uh, like was on the uh, C64, so we'll, I'll probably give the games that are listed on there a whirl. It's on the back of the box. Oh, it's just more of the design. And then that down the side. I'm not sure, it, no, it never doesn't come with a... Oh yeah, it has light for this. It should have come with a light gun, but it must have uh, lost it over the years. But I think that cost me uh, do, 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 about 40 quid in total. Not to, and then about a tenner for postage, so not too bad. Not exactly cheap, you know, you can get them for a bit cheaper, but I was happy enough to pay that. So what can you say? Uh, the SD drive kit, that was about, uh, I think it was £42. Again, you can get them on eBay for about 45 Depends on the model you go for. I mean, uh, like I say, it is modelled to look like uh, one of the actual drives, little buttons on there for changing the discs and stuff. And you can actually buy one where he's got like broken C64s which are beyond repair and he's like melted the plastic down and then recreated on a 3D, use that to create uh, these cases out of it. So it's actually from, it's a, it's a proper C64 casing, but there are a few quid, quid dearer, so. Uh, I was happy enough with that one because it, it matches the colour of this and how well you can see it. Nice match there, it's not too far off. But I'll probably just blue tack down the side <laughs> later on. Well, yeah, anyway guys, I think that's uh, good enough to end on. Uh, as always, thanks for watching and uh, please rate, comment and subscribe below. Um, by all means, I've got millions of games to look at, so if you've got any games recommendations for this, post away. Thanks guys.